Welcome to this Environmental Sustainability Skills Learning Program. During the completion of this online program, you will learn what environmental sustainability is, the harm that the automotive industry can have on the environment, environmental law, the benefits of working in a sustainable way, the philosophy of prevention, reuse, reduction and recycling, how to protect our water systems and land, the importance of air quality, noise prevention and reduction, automotive best practice. Environmental sustainability involves protecting and managing the oceans, freshwater systems, land and atmosphere so that we meet the environmental needs of generations, today and into the future. People, businesses, organisations and governments around the world are becoming more aware of the impact they're having on the environment and how important it is that they become more environmentally friendly. That's why this learning resource on how to build environmental sustainability skills is so important. Many people try to reduce their impact on the environment in their day-to-day -day life by separating plastics from landfill for recycling, trying to use less water and electricity, and looking for better ways to reuse what they already have. Vehicle owners can reduce pollution and their impact on the environment by making sure their vehicles operate efficiently, extend the life of their vehicle through routine servicing and maintenance, and purchase more fuel-efficient vehicles. The automotive workplace is no different in using the many opportunities it has to reduce its impact on the environment. As an automotive industry employee, there are a number of ways you can minimise the impact that the workplace has on the environment. The following information has been included to give you an understanding of some of the impacts the Australian automotive industry is having on our environment. It's estimated that well over 500,000 end-of-life vehicles currently enter the waste stream in Australia each year. During 2010, it was estimated that 48 million passenger vehicle tyres reached their end life in Australia. Only a small proportion of these tyres are being recycled, with a large number of them being disposed of through landfill, stockpiles or illegally dumped. Recently, an automotive small business was charged $400,000 in Environment Protection Authority fines and clean-up fees because of a leaking waste tank. The fines and fees could have been avoided if the business had a better understanding of regulations about environmental compliance. Many harmful effects to the environment occur when automotive workplaces do not comply with environmental laws. Following are some examples of environmental damage that can occur. Select the button on the right to learn more. Water pollution, oceans and freshwater systems, happens when pollutants are discharged directly or indirectly into water bodies without adequate treatment to remove harmful compounds. Land pollution is caused by the misuse of land resources and happens when waste is not disposed of properly. Air pollution is when chemicals and other substances are introduced into the atmosphere. Noise pollution is excessive human, animal or machine created environmental noise that disturbs the activity or balance of human or animal life. The best way to start protecting our environment is to identify all potential environmental risks in the workplace. After these risks have been identified, you'll be in a better position to prevent and manage them. Select each risk area to learn more, then select Next to continue.